Drivers are on the track and pretty into the post, racing one mile. A field of 10, there are no changes, nine minutes until post time. The one is fancy looking, owned by Sharon and Don Barlow of Xenia, Jeff Williamson, the trainer driver. Number two, Scramble, owned by Ed Davis of Waverly. Mr. Davis trains Terry Thompson Jr. drives. Three air scooter owned by Schmidt of Finlay and Shelton of Plain City. Jim Shelton trains. Dell Miller drives. The four pocket lights owned by Patrick Brooks of Mount Vernon. Don Feaster, the trainer driver. Five Candle Hill owned by John McDonough of Springfield. Chris Justice, the trainer driver. Number six, one for Jennifer. Owned and trained by Ike Gambert Jr. of Waynesville. Donovan Jr. of the 7, Sun Devil Express, owned by Robert Wilson of Dunkirk and George Villette of Columbus. Brad Crates, the trainer for Darren Mauser. The 8 is aimed too high, owned by Jeff Donson of Canal Winchester and Ralph Aronson of Columbus. Virgil Morgan, Jr., the trainer Brent Holland drives. The 9, Delta Flyer, owned by Randy Owens, Mel Revilio and Richard Van Meter, all of Ohio. Randy Owens, the trainer Randy Tharps in the bike. And number 10, Kate Kate. I'll be Effie and Betty Clark of Washington Courthouse. Alvia Long, the uh, trainer. Brad Hanners in the Sonke. One play show perfecta and a superfecta wagering. Seven minutes until post time. On the back stretch, approaching the start. End of the raw, and from mid track, it's pocket light. First for the lead from the outside, Sun Devil Express. From between horses comes Candle Hill, far outside, underway early. It's Delta Flyer, and from off the rail five, fancy looking around the first turn. Moving between horses sixth, that's aimed too high. Two lengths seventh to Kate Kate, another two lengths eighth, Scramble, followed ninth. On the inside by Air Scooter, that leaves the trailer one for Jennifer, opening panel 27 and two. Coming to the stretch, and Sun Devil Express on the outside. One quick move here. She takes a lead from Pocket Light, who gives it up for cover second. Fancy looking now. Four steps back, racing third, inside, and fourth. It's Candle Hill. Moving five of the outside, aim too high. At the rail and sixth, Delta Flyer. Three length, seventh, Kate Kate. Air Scooter comes to the outside and gets underway. Scrabble at the rail is ninth. One for Jennifer Trails. Half and 57 and one. As they make the move to the backside in Pocket Light. Has made the move to the front end, but now to the outside. Here comes Aim Too High, and Aim to Too High. Moving quickly will take her turn in the front. Aim Too High by three. Pocket Light is second. Sun Devil Express back out and moving here is third. And Delta Flyer is four lengths back five. And three wide comes Kate Kate on the inside. Fancy looking at the three quarters. One twenty six and one, and it's Aim Too High. Six lengths on top, inside a second pocket light. Kate Kate advancing up the rail third. On the outside, Sun Devil Express beginning to tire now as they move to the top of the stretch with less than an eight. It's all aimed too high. On the outside, Kate Kate is now second and the closest to challenge. Pocket light tiring a third. Sun Devil Express fourth, but it's all aimed too high. Coasting home, Kate Kate second. Pocket light getting up for third. The battle is for the four spot. The mile and 156 and 4. Here's the official winner, number 8, Aim Too High. Aim Too High, a three year old uh, daughter of Direct Scooter from the Alberton Mare. Aiming high end, owned by Jeff Donson of Canal Winchester and Broth Aronson of Columbus. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains, Brent Holland drives. Second win of the season, that a career mark for the three old filly. 156 for fifth. Order finished, top to bottom, fancy looking eight, scramble four, airs.